Howdy my totally tubular gamers and we are back for another ranking video yet again. Now today's ranking video is going to be a fun one. It's actually going to be on the Max Payne games. Yes, the Max Payne series of video games, mostly developed by Remedy Entertainment and eventually Rockstar Games. If you didn't know, the Max Payne series is a series of infamous third-person shooters that were popular primarily around the early 2000s. Max Payne has really been accredited as the game that really brought in the whole shooting people in slow-mo at looking cool as hell kind of gimmick that is in a lot of games, especially for the 2000s. However, this game series obviously did more than that. They're very solid, capable third-person shooters with very dark, gripping narratives. Like, that is one thing that Max Payne has always had in strides, is its very serious narratives. And it's mostly because of these gripping narratives and just overall cool gameplay that really has given Max Payne that cult status and is absolutely a cult classic that many people think everybody should try at some point. And so I thought, let's rank them. I think it'd be a fun time to rank them all up against each other. There are three main Max Payne games, and I will give a special shout out to the Game Boy Advance version of the original Max Payne. I was considering including it, however, it really is just the original game, but on a top-down kind of perspective. So I'm not going to include that here. So, let's just get right into it. Let's rank the three Max Payne games. And of course, like, share, sub, all that stuff. So which is the worst of the trilogy? Well... I would say the worst, air quotes, is Max Payne 2. I would say none of these games are actually bad, but I'd say Max Payne 2 is definitely the black sheep of the trilogy and is the most different from the other two. The story takes place after the original Max Payne and sees Max as a cop once again and getting involved with a group known as the Cleaners and a lot of the game has to do with uh, Mona Sachs, a character from the first game coming back and she is very integral to this game. And yeah. The story is mostly Max versus the Cleaners, and the story is actually quite good. I think it is very gripping, it is very interesting, and it definitely is a good couple plot twists I didn't see coming. Is it as good as Max Payne 1 or 3 story? In my opinion, no. I don't think it's as good as those, but I think on its own it is still good. The gameplay really is more of the original Max Payne, where you go through these very linear levels, just gunning down pretty much almost anything that moves. It is a very fine, solid third-person shooter that has the Max Payne staples. Lots of painkillers you're taking, carrying just a straight arsenal of weapons, and just gunning down tons of people in slow-mo. However, this game like takes it way further than the original game, as you can be in slow-mo just a ton of the time, and you can do some crazy stuff. You're just jumping, rolling, running, and just spinning around like crazy with your guns, just gunning everything down and you know what it's it's a pretty crazy time it's pretty fun and not only that but it looks cool as shit also I mean how does this not look hella cool the gunplay feels very nice every weapon is really nice to use and the game is still moderately challenging despite it letting you just go absolutely ape shit with the slow-mo you even get to play as Mona one or two points in the game as well and this is fine I mean it's not anything as fun as Max's to be honest but it is different I will give it that Something that does keep the game from being as good as the first or third one in my opinion is the game's length. Unfortunately the game is maybe four hours long. I finished it in like about four hours, maybe three and a half even. Like it really isn't that long of a game and I think that the story honestly wraps up just too quickly. I think it could have gone a lot more in depth and I think that the game overall should have been a bit longer considering how much fun it is to just gun everything down I mean at least it's really replayable being that short but I think it ultimately does suffer a little bit from just being just a tad too short I mean it's as long as like a really long movie I'd still say Max Payne 2 really fun game though and I think the second best of the three Max Payne games is Max Payne 3 the latest in the Max Payne games now Max Payne 3 really decided to take a few different turns from Max Payne 1 and 2 as this was developed by Rockstar and not Remedy Entertainment for starters, the story is a lot more in-depth, there's a lot of cutscenes in this game, a lot of voice acting, the comic book style of the original game is gone, the game is a lot longer, and the game actually featured multiplayer that was played pretty regularly, at least when it came out. The gameplay though was pretty much what you've come to expect from Max Payne, but with some modern touches you could obviously take cover, but a lot of the game was still running around in bullet time trying to kill everyone and just trying not to be gunned down yourself, taking lots of painkillers, tons of weapons that you're just destroying these dudes with, 
and the occasional set piece that makes for a really engaging time. Max Payne 3 really has two parts to it. It has the part where Max is dealing with his past, so a big part of the game does take place in the past, and that was always a big part of Max Payne was him dealing with his past, and the other takes place in modern day, or at least modern day 10 years ago. This sees Max going through a legit midlife crisis as he's retired from being a cop, he shaves his head bald, and he goes to be a private like security contractor in South America, and well, he fucks up a lot and has to kill a lot of people, and I'll just leave it at that. I think the story is actually very well done. I don't think it's as good as the original Max Payne story, but I think it is a little bit better than the second games. I think they really understood what made Max Payne Max Payne, especially when it came with the story, and I think that the way he copes with his past is a lot more believable than it was in the first two games, and it's not to the point where it's almost like a comic book, and it's definitely got that Rockstar influence on it. It certainly has that Rockstar production values, as the game still looks amazing, the voice acting obviously is amazing, the soundtrack is great, everything is just very top quality when it comes to that, and it still looks amazing and plays amazing today. The game is still challenging and the gunplay is still just as excellent as it always was and I remember playing this back when it came out and you know what even all these years later still very accessible very easy to come back to and is still a great shooter like nobody's going to deny that Max Payne 3 is not a fantastic shooter. The game is also the longest of the Max Payne games however I will say that this is a bit of a cheat because unfortunately you can't skip the cutscenes in Max Payne 3 which really decreases the replay value in my opinion as there's a lot of moments in this game that are very story heavy very like narrative driven and if you've already seen it you kinda just wanna get to the part where you're just killing everybody and this game doesn't really let you do that it makes you go through the story every single time so that's definitely a detriment that and some of these whack ass filters like what the hell is this shit what is this 2010 well yeah it is but still if you're looking for a violent, gory, dark narrative focused third person shooter, it doesn't get much more than that with Max Payne 3. That's for sure. And so it's pretty obvious here, but the best of the Max Payne games I think is the original Max Payne. I think the original Max Payne just did everything so right. I think the original Max Payne is the best story and I think it has the best gameplay and the perfect length for the Max Payne games. I'd argue it's one of the finest third person shooters just ever created and is one of the best games of the 2000s, like nobody's going to deny that. With a really ambitious huge plotline for the time that this game came out, especially for a shooter no doubt, it stars Max going through a lot of shit. He has a really messed up past where his family is killed and then he just fights crime and he's just addicted to painkillers and he's on alcohol all the time it's some real hard-boiled cop stuff and you know what this game really just had some impressive moments to it when it came to the narrative it had this really nice comic book art style when it came to telling its story and I think it's still very presentable nowadays sure the faces look hella funny and the graphics look pretty dated but I mean other than that the game has aged beautifully I was like the game plays amazing still the level design is still very competent very solid it's pretty linear and the shooting is still just as great as it was back then this was really the game that got the slow-mo bullet time kind of effect into like play here it was this game that really blew it up that other games like fear would heavily inspire from and there's a reason for that because it's just really cool like not only does it look cool as shit it's really fun to just go around killing these dudes in slow-mo seeing them die in agony and the gunplay in general is very solid you're taking tons of painkillers the game is challenging like that is one thing I can say is it's still challenging even to this day and some of the set pieces that are in this game I think are very powerful and this game is some really powerful imagery especially for the time like the nightmare sequences like from the original Max Payne like god damn man this is some deep heavy shit like lots of games don't even go near this ter territory like even nowadays but this game was doing it back in the early 2000s like damn this is this is heavy and I have a lot of fond memories with the game I think the game is at the perfect length of around five or six hours it doesn't go on too long and really it's just like it's just a really almost cinematic experience that was great for the time and is still great nowadays which really shows just like how well a game actually is as if it, you can come back to it 20 years later and it's still just as good as it was then like that's that's a powerful game and anyway that was it for my ranking of the three Max Payne games I really just wanted to talk about these games honestly as I, I feel like nobody's really talked about Max Payne in the last couple years and I mean I'd love to see another one but 
who knows? I mean, we got that shitty movie. Oh, uh, well. Anyway, that was the Max Payne games. Really just wanted to talk about Max Payne, so that's why I did this video. If you got anything to talk about Max Payne, tell me in the comments. Otherwise, have a great day, everyone. See you later.